getting down here. I'm running out of daylight. It's it's about eight o'clock. Um, on what I think it's Tuesday the twenty-first. And I don't know if I got enough light to get this, but this is where the alternator mounts, and this bracket is really, we'll get a better picture of it in the morning. This bolt here is seized, it's not coming out, and I really do not want to drain all the antifreeze out to take this pipe off. I may have to, but I'm going to try not to, it's an extra hour of work. just because they put this pipe on here like that well let's see what happens in the morning That is awful tight. The bolt is seized into this part of the bracket here. It's all wallered out inside the hole that goes through the two gear case housings. Got the nut broke loose. You saw what I had to do to do that. But, um, anyway, I got to work on that for a little while. Sprayed some, uh, what do you call it, a PB blaster on that and working it loose with this uh, little stubby impact driver, this uh, half inch drive stubby. The nut already fell off.
getting it part way there. Got enough of the shoulder of the bolt sticking out, I'm going to stick a wrench. Where's the camera? I'm going to stick a wrench in there and just kind of pry outwards on it while I spin. The impact, can't uh, tripod the camera where I'm at. Not until I get my camera cart outside and that's just, I don't have time to deal with that. Got all that thing off of there, that bracket sitting over here. And the bracket's not in too bad a shape, it needs to be polished up a little bit right there. But, and the, and the gear cover, this is the back gear cover, and this is the front half of the gear cover. That's all the timing gears that are inside this, this thing for the engine. And that's why it's not easy to fix this, this problem. But, the bolts have have worn this out and I don't know why I guess they got loose and I didn't know it but um, it's a common problem all these all these Detroit seem to have trouble with this that's one of the reasons they went to the serpentine belt system and I was talking to the head mechanic at the dealer today I went up to the dealer to turn in my brake shoes for a core and um, while I was there I talked to the uh, head mechanic and uh, he told me that there is an option I can get a serpentine gear kit that has a pulley for this accessory drive and for the air conditioner and I guess there's a tension pulley someplace and then you get a different alternator and I've got one of those alternators already here. I don't know if it works or not, but I'll just change the guts in it if it doesn't work. Um, but it'll mount to that system, and you got to get a new air conditioning bracket. So it's probably going to cost, I don't know, I'd guess six or eight hundred bucks to buy all that stuff and then put it on. So I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Not likely. But what I am going to do is, is grind this down smooth, but before I do it, I'm going to go up to the hardware store and I'm going to get some new bolts and some grade 8 washers. i got plenty of washers here, but I want grade 8 washers because I don't want the washers to wear down thin while this stuff is wearing down. I want, uh, I want the washers to be tough and I want this to be tough. Anyway, I'm going to go get that stuff and then come back and then uh, take measurements and get the grinder and start uh, making this thing fit tighter. Okay, I am ready to clean this thing up. I got to do a little bit of grinding on this side here. I'm going to take that in and do that on the bench grinder get that flat and this one here I need to do the same thing of course I can't do it on the bench grinder but I took a little four inch grinder four and a half and I put a new grinding wheel on it because I want it nice and flat uh, on the side that I'm going to grind with. And I don't think I need to mess with the rest of these. They're worn out inside the hole, but there's nothing I can do about that. I can't do a permanent fix on this thing right now.